All right, we are back with more Soul Leveling Arise, and in this video, I do want to talk about the big update that's happening in like a week and a half time, which is going to be our big summer update, and how gigantic it is for free-to-play players specifically, okay? So we're going to go over to the forum and talk about it, um, take a look at the death notes one more time, and then I will also give you my reasonings on some mistakes that you should avoid making if you are free to play right now but real quick i do want to give out these last uh minute codes they are expiring tomorrow i have been giving this out every single day so don't worry but in case you guys are missing any of these um the 500 essence and three gate keys then i'll just go ahead and give 100 right now these will be expiring tomorrow um so please make sure you are claiming these like asap there you guys go so ending on the 21st actually later tonight so yeah, right before uh, 22nd. And also, I'd appreciate it a ton if you guys do continue supporting me because you should be getting an in-game message pretty soon whenever Season 3 starts if you do want to continue supporting. Uh, so I'd appreciate it a ton if you guys want to. That would help me out a ton as well. And I will be doing more giveaways for the supporters, so don't you worry as per usual. But there are the codes, so feel free to pause or slow down the video. And that is going to be it. And then I guess I can also do codes for the, um, the growth stuff as well. So... Let me go ahead and scroll up here and then that should be it uh let me just make sure okay cool dylan and then here are 100 codes for these as well so feel free to claim them again i always appreciate it you guys are amazing as per usual but here are the codes again pause slow down do what you need to do but yeah when it comes to the big update like i said i personally am very excited for it just because a lot of new content some cool unique end game events that they are going to be having as well uh, more codes as well, which is always helpful for free to play players. And they are adjusting the difficulty for Workshop Rebellion Light, which I am quite excited for because for free to play, honestly, it is pretty damn tough to say the least, right? It's not exactly the easiest piece of content. So let's go over to the forum so I can show you guys what exactly I'm talking about and why it's so important for free to play wise and, you know, some mistakes that you can't avoid making right now. Uh, that should be the end of the code. Yeah, there you go. So when it comes to the dev notes, they mentioned that the normalization of growth experience is going to be changing. And honestly, in my opinion, this was probably one of the biggest ones for free to play because I had I said this beforehand in one of my streams saying that because right now we can only do this. So at the moment in time, we can only in um, salvage artifacts for gold. We cannot obtain artifact enhancement chips one and two. And so by them adding this in right now, this is honestly massive. So if I go back in game and show you guys, in case you guys aren't aware of, if you go over to your artifacts and you go over to salvage or sell rather, you can only get gold, right? So if I want to sell all these at this moment in time, I cannot get artifact enhancement chips one or two. Um, I can only get gold. So right now, if you are free to play, what I would highly recommend you do is obviously continue farming every single day. Do all your encore instance gates, do whatever you need to do, but do not sell them, okay? You shouldn't be, I mean, if you are free to play, I highly doubt you are capped off at 3,000. If you are, that's crazy. Um, but for the other, like 99% of free to play players, I would highly recommend that you do not salvage or sell your artifacts at this moment in time wait for the big update so that way you are getting the best of both worlds um and not only are you getting gold but you're also getting artifact enhancement chips one and two so that is something i would go ahead and say wait off on doing again i don't think free to play wise you're going to be capped off at 3000 and i know sometimes like you are going to be low on gold and you're like damn you know i just need like a few more gold to go ahead and upgrade this one equipment or artifacts but honestly i would say wait uh because it is dropping in like a week half time and it is going to be kind of a big deal in my opinion right that is one aspect of something I should highly recommend you guys don't make that mistake on. But another one is that they are going to be adding um, artifact level 73 and 78, which means that we are going to be getting brand new encore and instant dungeon. Um, what is it? Stages, right? So right now the max uh, tier is tier 10. So I imagine they are going to be adding in tier 11 and 12, which is going to be adding in level 73 and 78 artifacts. Now, I'm not going to tell you to save your keys, obviously, because that's such a waste. But I would say is if you are farming at this moment in time, do not work on new pieces. I know that's kind of bad of me saying it, but the reason the reason why I say that is because not only okay, let's just say this right. If you're someone that is going to be free to play and you are able to beat tier 11 and 12, which you know with the new sets and everything, 
you should be able to unless they are like stupid op hard that which free to play we can't do but again i imagine that it is going to be doable for free to play to do tier 11 and 12 especially if you are end game stage like me so i would say hold off on working on new artifact sets because it, honestly like working on artifacts takes a crap ton of gold right i mean you could work on one piece of gold or one piece of artifacts get it all the way up to level 20 and you burn like half a million gold you know easily especially if you're like really really unlucky on getting like um the upgrades to plus 20 and everything it can cost you a arm and a leg and it takes a lot of artifact enhancement chips one and two so i would say right now if you don't need to work on any sets or anything at this moment don't wait for the update in a week and a half so that way not only are you you getting your hands on level 73 and 78 artifacts but then it's like you know you can actually work on those pieces as opposed to working on you know level 55 because it, these are a very very big deal right they are massive cc increase allowing you to maybe be in the white for some of the stages so again i would honestly hold off if you are free to play on working on the current artifacts i'm not talking about the curse set okay the curse set that is a completely different story um you know work on these if you want to but i will get to these here in just a second because it does kind of have to tie in with the video but again if you are free to play i would say kind of hold off on working on these pieces unless you know for a fact that it is going to be a helpful piece but because honestly like i'm farming every day you know i'm getting all my artifacts you know in my storage and everything and i'm not even working on them the only ones i am working on is just my curse set that is the only thing um i have a crap ton of that are just sitting here collecting dust waiting to be sold uh so that i get gold and artifact enhancement chips one and two so that way whenever the brand new update comes out i can farm at level 73 and 78 artifacts and that way i'm chilling and have the best of both worlds right so hopefully that makes sense but also when it comes to the big update and a massive one at that is they are going to be adjusting the workshop of brilliant light um i forgot where they mentioned this where is it at it should be in this update right um let me see what else is here yeah here it is so additionally in this update we'll introduce demon castle lower floors hard difficulty in the workshop of brilliant light but also they are going to make it just a tad bit easier so uh they have slightly reduced the difficulty yeah it still remains difficult so they are going to be adjusting it so that way it's just a tad bit easier so that way um not only are we going to be having the brand new artifact sets level 70 and 75 but now it's going to be a lot easier for us to do workshop really light so i would say if you are someone who is free to play right then kind of hold off on just going hand with the upgrades okay honestly because again i just don't think it's worth it right now for you to just spend all your gold spend all your resource when like in a week and a half time you're gonna be getting all the stuff and you have to refarm it and then you're gonna have to pour more gold into it when it's like you could have been saving right now because you know at this moment there really isn't anything that you need to be farming really hardcore like that unless it's just on i mean not encore but workshop for brilliant light um also they are going to be difficulty are uh, uh, changing the difficulty of chapter 17 and 18 for normal story mode which is not too bad uh and also this so this one is not really anything crazy but um i actually am a big fan of this because right now in game we cannot i repeat we cannot upgrade this or craft this to a higher rarity uh so right now if you take a look at this we can't craft what is it what is it called this right so the mana power elixir 2 but in the update uh that's coming out in a week and a half we will be able to transform this into this which i think is going to be a very big deal uh not this unfortunately at least i don't think they said that in the devs i could be wrong let me double check real quick uh it's only elixir mana power 2 yeah so there you go which is going to be pretty helpful uh because now it's going to allow us to get our units to what is it like this yeah 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 it's going to be nice so the gold yeah that's gonna be really helpful and just a massive cc increase but yeah that is gonna be everything i do want to discuss in this video give you guys some last minute codes as well but again honestly free to play wise just don't go ham you just need to farm 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 every single day up until that point so that whenever the update comes out not only you're gonna have a crap ton of artifacts to sell you'll be at easily over a million gold we're gonna have artifact enhancements one and two chips um, and then you're gonna have level 70 75 artifacts that you can farm workshop is gonna be a, a lot easier Maybe not a lot easier. Let me not say that but it is gonna be slightly easier for you to go ahead and take down and um, Your account is gonna be looking a lot more better than it was than how it is probably right now, right? But anyways, I'll end it there. Let me know your thoughts and uh, yeah, honestly also whoever got lucky 
with the what is it the uh swimsuit box or the summer box rather let me know in the comment section what did you get from me because i have not gotten lucky with this at all i managed to get just yeah a heroic skill rune which uh which is you know not too shabby but unfortunately it's already one i had <laughs> anyways i'll end there let me know your thoughts take care subscribe if y'all new peace